So this is my drugstore fall makeup look featuring the eyeshadow Burning Black. And first I start off with my base. So I am using this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Primer. It's pretty much just a silicone based primer and this CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation in the shade Soft Sable. And I also take this black opal foundation stick and I just dot it around my face and essentially use it as concealer. I didn't record the base part because it was long and unnecessary. Then I take this NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer and just put it under my eyes. It's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, so it works really well as a brightener. And there I go. It was a little bit too light, so I had to blend it out quite a bit, but it worked out. Next, I'm using this Revlon Nearly Naked Pressed Powder in the shade Deep. And I'm just kind of using this to cover my T-zone and a little bit under my eyes and all over my face. And after that, I contour with this CoverGirl Queen Collection Bronzer in Ebony Bronze. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it really doesn't show up much on the skin at all. And I love it. It's like a new favorite of mine. This video is full of favorites, actually. Everything in this video is pretty much a favorite. And most of it has been featured in my monthly favorites this month. Next, I use this Milani Baked Blush in the color Red Vino. And this was also my favorite this month because it is awesome. I went, it looks like I went a little light on the blush in this video, but if you saw me in person, it, it wasn't light. It's just the lighting. So after I'm done putting that all over my face, I go to my eyebrows and I'm using this Maybelline Master Shape Eyebrow Pencil. And I use that to define my arch. And then I use that NYX Brow Cake Powder um, to kind of fill in the rest of my eyebrows. It's a little bit ashier than I would like, but once the whole look is together, it kind of works out. So next, I use this Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Primer, and um, or eyeshadow base, and I just put it all over my eyes and blend it out. It works really well at muting out the natural tones on my eyelid because my eyelids are quite pigmented. And after that, I use my favorite eyeshadow, which is the burning black shade from the L'Oreal Invaluable Eyeshadows. As you can see, it's really amazing. Look at how it shimmers. It's, it's, it's literally my favorite. I'm obsessed. I use it almost every day. So I pretty much just pat it all over my eyes, all the way up to the crease. And after that, I just kind of take a clean blending brush and blend out around the edge. This Essence Eyeshadow Duo is in the shade Irresistible Chocolates and it's really inexpensive. It's like $2.50. And I just take the first color that was on the left, the taupey color, and I use that in the inner half of my eye, I would say. And I definitely like to build it up, but it's really pigmented. Actually much more pigmented than the shade that was on the right. So now I'm taking the shade that was on the right, the kind of darker color, and I'm just putting that along the outer V, I guess, and a little bit into my crease just to blend all the colors together. It's not super pigmented, but it got the job done, so I guess I can't complain. Now I'm layering a bit more of that burning black shade up to the middle of my eye, just because I felt like I lost a little bit of the color. And I'm just gonna apply a really thin line of liner now, just to, I guess, emphasize my lash line. And I'm using the L'Oreal lacquer 24 hour liner something something I don't know there's a lot of words on that packaging and I can never figure out which way to read it next I'm using these two mascaras the L'Oreal voluminous uh, false lashes and the uh, Maybelline big falsies big eyes falsies I'm not a huge fan of the Maybelline big eyes falsies but I do like the L'Oreal voluminous so I'm down for that but not so down for the one I'm using right now Next, I take this NYC Sparkle Eye Dust in the shade Amber Glitz, and it's essentially a loose pigment in a doe foot applicator bottle, and I'm putting that kind of in my lower lash line in the inner tear duct, and then I take this Rimmel Black Eyeliner and put it in my lower lash line, and I'm obsessed with this black eyeliner. It was in my favorites this month. Everyone should have it. I'm just saying. So now I'm following up with the L'Oreal Voluminous False Lashes Mascara. And I do like to do my mascara in steps, like layer it after I let it dry a little bit, just because I have like no eyelashes and I need all the help I can get. 
So now I'm doing my lips and I am using my favorite nude lipstick, which is the Revlon lipstick in mink. And it's one of the cream finishes and it is perfect for dark skin. Like it is a perfect mix of brown and pink without making you look too muddy. Like I think my video isn't even doing it justice. If you have kind of medium to deep skin tone, you should really check it out. And now I'm just following it up with a little bit of gloss because I like putting a little bit of pink gloss in my nude lips. And this is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in the shade. What is this shade? Oh, beige. Isn't that so weird? Why is this called beige? It's so pink. Mm. Anyways, this is the finished look. Uh, it's definitely wearable for the daytime. I wear it during the daytime at least. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.